Hi there, my name is Dagny, and I'm a sucker for oversized vintage china. <laughs> We're at a Goodwill in Lancaster. This is Poppy Trail by Metlocks. This is the ivy pattern. I found a whole bunch of these pieces. I have some Poppy Trail in a dark pink and light pink color in my store, but I thought, you know what? Let's join the party. Let's get some oversized plates and platters. I am now looking in the clear glass section. They have kind of glasses and cups and things. I have been starting to go to this store once a week now because the selection, I think at once a week is really good. I think if I went there every day, I'd be like, there's nothing here. Sometimes I feel that way about my favorite Goodwill because I go there so often when I'm coming to and from the post office. These are really pretty champagne glasses. There were two of them, really nice shape, but I decided not to get those. Checking out this blue glass, seeing if it was anybody special. It was pretty. And then down here at the bottom, there was this, I think this is to keep dip cold or warm, depending on what kind of dip you're serving. I think that's what that's for. And then there was a whole collection of this vintage stoneware. They had, it looked like a coffee pot or a teapot, a jelly jar. They were not marked, and they had some mugs in the back. They were not marked, but I did take a Google Lens picture of that, uh, those two there, and nothing really came up. It's just a typical 1970s, probably early 80s pattern of stoneware. So if you were in, your colors were brown or you're into a natural look, this was a great deal. They had them all bundled together so nicely. And I decided to leave those there. And then I found another bowl to go with my Metlox collection. So I decided to put the bowl in the cart with everybody else. The oversized platter is going to be a pain to ship, but I'll figure it out. Look how pretty this is. I thought this was really, really nice. I like the green and the brown together. Very nice. But those kind of plates just don't sell well for me. So I decided to leave it on the shelf. I was looking at this, seeing what it was who was doing it, and they had some white milk glass. I was feeling pretty confident that this was going to be a good shopping trip. I'm looking to see if the Westmoreland glass sign or Fenton sign, or not sign, mark, is on the bottom of it. I didn't really see anything. I was looking to see who made these cups. It was nice that they were bundled together. And then on a bottom shelf, I found this. Look, oh, it's so pretty. And you got the, uh, you know, the little tote with it. This was a bunch of, let me move that over. This was a whole set of snack trays. So you'd have the plate and then the cups sit in that little circle there. It was very, 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 very heavy. First, I had to look at this plate, see what this was going on here. I'm going to turn the tote so we can see it better. They had it taped up. It was taped, 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 taped up. I had a sneaking suspicion this was a hobbyist piece and I noticed on the bottom that they were marked 54 or 50 something. I'm kind of, I'm going to go with 54. So someone had painted these, I believe. It, they were so nice. If I had an antique booth, I probably would have taken the plunge and bought them. But since I don't, I left them for somebody else. I found this little dish and then next to it, these salt and pepper shakers reminded me of Fiesta Wear. They are not marked. I did take them because they're in really nice shape. I think that one is a little bit darker blue than the other one. So I'm not sure if that is a game changer or not. Now this was marked $9.99 and this probably is why I spent so much money. Like the title said, this is the most I've ever spent at a Goodwill. And it was because I, I did get a few items that were higher priced, but I thought that canister was beautiful. It had no uh, very, very tiny little chips around the rim. But I decided to get it. Some of you had mentioned in a previous video, I should have picked this up. This is uh, because it had that sticker, that contemporary sticker. That is why I did not pick it up. And then I was checking out that spray painted vanity dish. There was a banana tray there. I was looking again at this and then I noticed the app. This is definitely flashed on. It was pretty, but it was scratched up. Perfume candle holder. Does it look like a bird? Let's see. Oh, it's just white. But let's look at it anyway. I thought there'd be a bird on it. Oh, 
Oh, there is the bird. Hmm. This looks like that. The little lid. Hmm. Uh, measuring spoons for Santa Claus Christmassy. I gave up. A whole bunch of those. A pretty little dish. Six ninety nine for the dish. Just the right shoe. It says something. That's pretty cool looking. It is a just the right shoe. Gorgeous rose. So let's look that up. It's only $1.99. It goes with the theme. <laughs> you have to come. These are for if you have a buffet and they're for your serving utensils. That's what those are for, in case you were wondering. A little covered dish. It's a little tin. Or by Dyer. Dare. <laughs> it's a small one. Usually I've only seen the trays and stuff. It has a lot of wear to it. Alright, cast your votes now. Is it Avon or Wedgwood? If you guessed Avon, you are correct. The um a lot of you mentioned this box that I walked on by last time. It has a lot of ink on it. But some of you were very excited about this box. Um, I don't know if it's worth anything with all that ink. There's like stains here. It looks like it's um, makeup, probably. But a lot of you were very excited about this. And uh, you know how I like cleaning up stuff, so maybe we'll try cleaning up the jewelry box because it is in really nice shape. And we'll see what we do. Alright. It's not green, but it can come with us. That's neat. That's stone. That's cool looking. Has a little nick right there. And right here, that's pretty. This is a um, good restaurant if you're in the area. They have really nice sandwiches. Made in India. It's kind of light feeling. I think it's for your rings. Some little wax candles. They actually burned them. <laughs> they burned them. Poor little angels. Oh, I thought it was token. 
are weird. What are these? You have flour, sugar, and coffee. How much do you think it is? I think it's 10. I see it. It is, oh, $5. Hmm. A little jewelry board. Let's see. Oh, it's party light. That's pretty. So I found this uh, Shenango China restaurant with creamer with flour on it. Here was a Longenberger basket. It was only $5, but it had a lot of wear on it, a lot of age. Someone really got their good use out of this basket, so I left that there. Then I saw this older print. I could tell it definitely had some age to it. It is a wonderful poem. Um, I was tempted to read it for you in the video. Maybe I'll make a reel about it later or short on YouTube. It's a very, very nice poem. It was only $2.99. I believe it is from the 1920s or 30s based on the age of it. I just So I decided to get that. And then there were these little art pieces. These remind me of the Little Boy Blue pieces. So I did take a screenshot of them and it turns out they also have their names on the back. But they kind of go together. It's Chico and Elena, I believe. Um, so they were selling them as a pair, which was nice. But things like this don't sell very well for me. Again, if you had a booth, maybe that would make a nice little accent in your antique booth, but I don't have one, so I left that for someone who does. Well, let's look at these first. Are these mass produced? We have a theme going on here. Produced too. Hmm, I thought they were real. Huh. Interesting. There's my angle right. That's probably from her magazine. dollars for that made in China. And since we're down here, <laughs> let's keep looking. What's this thing? This is five dollars. They have it attached. Let's see. It sits like that. I'm not quite sure what some kind of organizer. I think it's a buffet like organizer for plates and stuff. Napkins and silverware and utensils. That's what I'm going with. Back here, it's a really nice handmade jewelry box, but it's engraved. It is marked on the back S Web. But unless your initials are PCH or CPH or HPC, that's nice though. Nicely done. Like a bread basket. Brick for six ninety nine. <laughs> well, 
Royal Terra. Owl. And a chick. And the bell. Makes food flavors same. Hmm. He's delved. Yes. It's a really old chippy. Do the age on those seventy six. That's neat. Delft with that daft blue. What's that say? <coughs> oh, that just moved. Oh, let's not put that there. That's crazy. It says craft blue. That's really pretty. I like that. This. Is marked made in England. And have some cups here. And these are marked made in England as well. And I think I just saw the plates. As you can see, I'm looking through the bag to see if there's sets of, you know, four or two, something that would be worthwhile to sell it as a set because I knew I was going to get the coffee pot and cups. I was hoping that these were saucers. I didn't realize they were bowls. They had all different, uh, different makers marks on the back of them, older marks, newer marks. So after I'm showing you what the marks are, some of them, I believe, were newer Johnson Brothers, some are older more contemporary and it just was too much of a mishmash for me there was only really one saucer so I decided to leave that there then I saw this cute little figurine it is pewter it was marked has a maker's mark on it and I did take the time to look it up and then I looked up some more and I was like are you kidding me <laughs> this is a Royal Dalton little Bo Peep figurine just sitting there waiting waiting for me to find her I couldn't believe it so pretty and then I also found this piece this is made in Italy I thought this was very nicely done I like the silver look to it the shape of the frame you can set it on a table or you could hang it on your wall very 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 nice here is the jewelry case after I tried to clean it up you can see that it did have these imprints on the top here and I was able to get them out but it did kind of leave a circle there you can see a circle at least I can see a circle still in the middle here but it is smooth to the touch it doesn't have those marks I think someone had some someone <laughs> I think something had rested on the case for a long time and it left that those two rings on top but you can't feel them but you definitely can see it this this is a nice shape, but it does definitely have some age to it and wearing to it. Now let me show you the inside. I was able to get most of that mark off. I think it is makeup. I don't think it is nail polish because it kind of left a powdery streak to it. The marking is much smaller than it was in that you saw in the store. There was some marks here on this piece 
still there's marks here. And then I did wipe this off, but I didn't try to get it off because it's underneath and you would never see it. And um, this one was in pretty good shape. It's just dusty. And I think the new owner would have to take like a piece of tape to it and get the little fuzzy things out of it. But I think considering you saw the shape of it before, I think it's in pretty nice shape. Uh, I don't remember the name. A lot of people, a lot of people who really like this, told me the brand name or what it's called. So if you if you could tell me again in the comments, this time I won't make a note of it. But I think it turned out nice. It does, like I say, have some wear to it. But overall, it's very pretty. I forgot to film finding this. This is a Vera Bradley bag. It has new the new tissue still in it. It has, still has the tag on it, so I don't think the person ever used it. I did pay up for it, and that's probably why my bill was a little bit on the high side between that and the green glass canister. But I was pretty excited that I spent a lot of money because I think I got a lot of nice things, and sometimes you have to spend a lot of money when there's a lot of nice stuff there. They were actively restocking that whole time I was there, so I spent a long time in there, and it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that thumbs up. It really helps my channel, and it's absolutely free. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I do shop along with me videos as well as my family likes to go traveling and take you along with us to show you new areas of our country as well as do thrifting out of state. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.